when we develop hearing aids, we always start with the user in mind. We are trying to develop hearing aids that help the user and help the user's brain understand sound better, not trying to replace any processing that the brain is doing itself. The organic hearing is about trying to help the user's brain understand sounds better, not trying to replace any functionality that, uh, that is in the user's brain. So when we designed Resound 1, one of the main features that we tried to get in was the uniqueness of each visual user's ear. It's important when, uh, when we perceive sound that we present the sound to the brain as close to how the brain is used to perceive the sound. And that's why the Marie system came in as a very important feature there. We used almost 10 years to uh, develop the uh, Marie feature because there's so much technology that is going into that feature. These 10 years we have spent perfecting all the technologies that surround this and almost all of R&D functions has been involved in this feature one way or another. So around 300 people have maybe been touching this feature along the way. It was an extremely difficult project to do. You would think that putting a microphone in the canal would be a very, very simple exercise. But the reality is that when you do that, you get things like feedback problems that we would have to battle. We have made a completely new feedback suppression algorithm for Marie in order to make sure that we can keep this under control. This new algorithm in turn has meant that we had to develop a new chipset in order to actually be able to run this and has all the microphones available at the same time. So. When you put this microphone in, you get a lot of side effects and that's what actually made uh, this development difficult. The introduction of the new features in Resound 1 has meant that we would have to have much more processing power and memory available in the system. So when we put more memory into our hearing aids, we uh, actually make room for more programs, more features. That's like when you get a bigger hard drive in your PC. And that more memory we needed in order to do the advanced algorithms that drive the three microphones in, in the hearing aid. We had to put a completely new, for the hearing aid industry, technology into place. We have made a new DSP in 28 nanometer uh, technology. And that doesn't say much until you think about if you try to, to, to take this chip and scale it up so that all the transistors that we put in there would be visible to the naked eye. This chip would be 20 by 30 meters long. So it's a very, very dense technology that allows us to put a lot of functionality into a very small place. We have also developed new radio technology to be able to transport audio from ear to ear at a very low latency. And that is required for us to make a natural sound picture also when we are in very noisy environments. This technology we have uh, actually test run with our sister company Jabra in their newest headsets so that we are using the same radio technology across both companies. With Resound 1 we have taken the next step in our organic hearing journey, taking us even closer to the natural hearing experience. But we are also taking steps to make sure that the hearing aid operates well in all environments, noisy as well as in quiet, and also taking the music experience we introduced with Lynx Quattro and carried it forward. We believe we have made the best possible hearing aid we can do with today's technology.